Welcome to another video. Now for today's video, we are going to be playing Small World. Small World is a great new card from the new set, and it has a lot of text, and it's very confusing. But basically, what you need to know about it is it lets you transform one of the monsters into your hand into basically any other monster from your deck. And the way you do it is a little convoluted. I'll, sh I'll show you in this video uh, what the steps required are, but all you got to know is you go negative one, it turns one of your monsters into another monster. So for example, this hand, we got a Deep Sea Diva, we got an Ash Blossom, another Ash Blossom, and a Moon Glacia. So we can use the small world here. Uh, opponent's going first though. Activate and pot. We're going to let the pot resolve. Uh, opponent hits a cross out, unfortunately. So we're going to have to try an Ash Blossom, but Ash is going to get negated. Opponent's going to do their wombo combo here. Let's let them wombo combo with their Medulces. All right, opponent's done. Opponent's done. All right, back to our turn. So we're going to draw here. We draw a call by the grave. So we can use our small roll to transform a card in our hand. But we don't need to do that. Opponent. Activating Herald of the Arclay. We're going to banish with the call by the grave. Negate the effect. Diva going to resolve here. Gonna get a Prince. Prince gonna activate. Now we're gonna send Dragoons. We're gonna add a Heavy to hand. Dragoons gonna search for an Abyss Megalo and we got a problem here. We don't wanna discard our Moon Glacia. We got an Ash Blossom in hand. That's not a water monster. So let's activate Small World. Now we, the monster, so the way this works here, the monster we chose in hand was Ash Blossom. And what is required when you use this card is you have to choose a bridge, a bridge monster in your deck. And the bridge monster in the deck we chose was Abyss Gun. The way that works is you look at a card in your deck and it has to share exactly one of the type, attribute, level, attack, or defense. So for example, we banished Ash Blossom here, which is a level three with zero attack, 800, 1800 defense and a fire monster. The bridge monster we chose was Abyss Gun which shares the level three, but everything else is different. It's a water, it has 1400 attack, 1800 defense. That's our bridge. And the bridge lets us search for any card in our deck that shares exactly one property with a Biscund. So for example, you could search for another Ash Blossom, but another monster that shares one property with a Biscund and all the rest are different is Heavy Infantry. It's a level two. It's got zero attack, 1600 defense. It shares the water attribute but it is a sea serpent and uh, this is a an aqua. So that's our bridge. So the trick to this card is knowing what the bridge monsters are to get what you want. So that's the trick. So it works both ways. So once you know the bridge is, you can go from one to the other. So for example, if we had a heavy in hand, we could use small world to turn it into an ash blossom using a biscuit as a bridge. All right, let's go. Now we got heavy in hand. Let's summon the Abyss Megalo. Abyss Megalo can try to pop two, but the opponent's Medulches are protected. He's gonna activate here. Protect himself from destruction. This card can return a monster from graveyard to hand to prevent, prevent protect itself from destruction. There you go, opponent is doing that. Opponent shuffling monsters from our graveyard back to our deck. That does not matter. Let's tribute the Prince. Prince gonna activate. Get us the heavy. Now Megalo can attack twice. Gonna make the Hulk Fibrax. Get the dust spot. And opponent does not want to see it. Opponent is done. Alright, well that shows off a little bit of how the small world works. Let's show you another game. Alright, we got the small world. Now this is a great example. We got Max C in hand. We got an Abyss Teus. So we could use the small world and transform Maxi into something, or we can use the, Mac, the, the small world to transform the Teus into something. So let's, let's do it with the Teus. Keep the Maxi in hand. So we're revealing Teus as our card in hand. We're choosing Abyss Pike as our card in the deck that shares exactly one of the level, attribute, attack, defense, and type. So Abyss Pike is a water 
case is a water, but everything else is different. This is an aqua, this is a fish. Uh, and Abyss Pike is going to let us search for Deep Sea Diva. Deep Sea Diva, water, but everything else is different. It's a sea serpent, 200 attack, 400 defense. So once you, once you understand the bridge cards, uh, it gets a lot easier to use. So one of the most common bridge cards is actually Teus, because most of the cards in our deck are sea serpents, and they're like, you know, level 2-3. So Teus being an Aqua is a really great bridge card. All right, so now we got Diva in hand, we can just combo. Let's go. Deep Sea Diva time. Doing our staple combo, just the old Aurora Dawn combo. Now, if you have other Diva combos, this will let you get Diva way more consistently because almost every card in your deck can be turned into a Deep Sea Diva with Small World. And if you if you are not able to do it with your current deck, there's always a card you can put in that can make it work. So, for example, there's definitely a bridge between Max C and Deep Sea Diva. You just got to know what it is. If you're playing the Frog package, I believe that uh, Swap Frog would be a bridge because it shares the level two, but the rest of the stats are different. We didn't eat. We didn't even do this. There we go. We're gonna do this the whole way. Make the brawn. Make him discard too. Get that odd eyes pendulum dragon. Get that spiral flame strike. Get the little arc light. And now we make DPE. An opponent is done. They've seen it. The small world is too much. All right, let's go on to the next game. All right, we got small world in hand again. Now this is another really interesting example. We got a couple cards we could transform here. We could transform this Maxi into an Ash Blossom, and I believe when I was playing this game, I felt a hang, and I was really worried that opponent had their own Maxi. So we're going to use the Small World here. There's a hang, opponent doesn't respond, and we're going to choose Heavy Infantry as the bridge. We talked about this in the other game. Heavy Infantry is the bridge from Maxi, and that lets us add Ash Blossom. Heavy Infantry has zero attack. That is the only trait it shares with Ash Blossom. It's a different level, different attribute, different type, different defense, but they both have zero attack. So that is why Heavy Infantry is the bridge to Ash Blossom. All right, so there you go. We turned our Max C into an Ash. And let's test. Opponent not activating their Max C. Interesting. And there we go. It was not a Max C. It was a Dragon Maid Ernest. Interesting. That's going to special summon a card from their hand. The Laundry Dragon Maid. Laundry Dragon Maid effect going to activate after we're done searching. Let's negate with the Ash Blossom. Showing the versatility of the small world. Get negated. All right. And let's continue our combo. We can make Toad here. Make our opponent discard too. Let's go. Bahamut Shark discard or detach. Get the get the toad. Get the search from the dragoons. Gonna search here for Mullen Glacia. Special summon the coral and enemy. Get Mullen Glacian. Make him discard too. Hit the parlor and the feather duster. An opponent is done. They do not want to see the rest of the combo. Alright, let's do one more game here. As usual, I will have the deck list at the end of the video. If you like this sort of content, please consider subscribing. Give the video a like. Leave a comment. If you want to see more of the small world. Don't have small world in this hand. Really interesting thing about small world is whether or not to include the bridges. Opponent Phantom Knight Fogblade. Gonna negate the effect of our prince, but that is okay. We really want the effect of Dragoons in Graveyard. And opponent has a call by the grave. Well, uh... Luckily, we got our one copy of Crossout. Crossout can negate the Call by the Grave. Banish Call by the Grave from the deck. Keep our Dragoons safe. Search for the Lapis Dragon. Lapis Dragon to summon itself. We can make the Hulk of Fibrax. And opponent also has Ash Blossom. A lot of interaction from our opponent here. Looks like we're just left with the Hulk Fibrax. And not much else. Let's attack. Opponent had a rocket recharger with 2100 defense. I was not expecting that. 
I was thinking from what I was seeing here that this was Phantom Knights, but clearly it is Rockets. Opponent making a Striker Dragon. We got an Effect Bailer, but we're going to hold on to it. Not sure what our opponent's doing. They haven't used their normal summon yet. He's adding monsters back to hand. He's going to special summon. But he only added one monster there. Opponent making more monsters. And opponent making the Chaos Ruler. And we're going to we're gonna activate our Effect Bailer here. Don't want him adding more cards to his hand. He's going to kill our Hulk. Back to our turn. Heart of the cards top deck, Deep Sea Diva. Let's go. Diva going to special summon the Prince from the deck. Prince going to activate. Send Dragoons. Add a heavy. Dragoons going to activate in hand. Search for the Moon Glacia. Moon Glacia going to make him discard that last card. It's an orchestrated return. Make the Tatsunoko here. Use our card in hand. Make the Baron de Fleur. Baron going to pop the Chaos Ruler. Effect of the Rocket Recharger is going to activate. We're going to negate. Negate the effect. And now we can special summon our Creation Resonator. Let's get to the damage step first. And now let's special summon our Creation Resonator. Use our Baron. Make the Verte. And we can go into DPE here. And opponent is done. They do not want to see it. All right. Let's show off the deck list. All right, here we go. Here's the full deck. I'll pan through it quickly. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to show off the bridge calculator. So there's a website you can go to to see what monsters are bridges in your deck. But if you want to do it manually, it's not too hard to figure it out. So for example, if we have small world in hand, you think about what monster is going to be in your hand. So say you got a prince in hand. So what monsters can prince, you know, show you with small world? So you got to find a monster that has a different level, same attribute, different type. So immediately we can rule out all the sea serpents because all our sea serpents are water type. So immediately we say prince, okay, prince can only be a bridge to a non sea serpent monster. So what can he be a, be a bridge to? Now we have Fishborg launcher, but Fishborg launcher is also level one. So can't use Fishborg launcher as our bridge. What else could we use? We could use abyss pike. Abyss pike is a fish. He's level four, different stats. So there you go. That's uh, That can be our bridge. And Abyss Pike can get us to any of our Sea Serpent monsters. He could also get us to our Abyss Teus. So that's how you could transform Abyss Teus, uh, or a Prince, sorry, into an Abyss Teus. And you can do it the other way around as well. If you have a Teus in hand, you can use Small World. In the deck, you banish the Abyss Pike, and then you can go to Prince. So finding the bridge is what's key to getting this to work. And learning what are the common bridges is the easiest way uh, you know, to search. And one of the great things about this is it lets you very easily search for Abyss Teus or a Dragoons, which means you can do the Dragoons uh, Teus combo, which is pretty cool. It lets you make a Trishula, banish three cards from your opponent's hand. So that's pretty sweet. Definitely excited to be doing that more often with the Small World. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to show you the calculator and then I'm going to show you the the full uh, deck list in maxed out view. All right, let's get going. All right, here we go. So we're going to, this is the, so this is the website where you can search for the bridge. I'll have a link to it in the description of the video. But for example, let's search for Neptibus. Neptibus the Atlantean French. That's the card we have in hand. And we choose the card we want to find. Okay, so say we want to find Abyss Teus. So we go Mermail, Abyss Teus. Where is he? Where's the Teus? There we go. All right, now this calculator is going to show you every monster. Just zoom out a little bit. Every monster, every possible monster that you could use as a bridge. So if you have this monster in your deck, once you banish the prince from hand, you have to choose one of these monsters in the deck and it'll let you search for the Teus. So we can go through this whole list and you can go through it yourself, but you can also filter. So if you want to filter by water monsters or by a specific uh, level, you can do that. But what I usually do is scroll down here till I see a monster I like to play. So Buzzsaw Shark, sometimes a card that I play. So that's good to know that you could use that as a bridge. But hopefully you're looking for a card that you already have in your deck because then you don't have to make changes. 
So let's scroll down here. Fishborg Archer. That's a card that we sometimes play. Keep going here. Till we find something we we recognize. And I already know there's I already know there's one. The Mermel Abyss Pike. So hopefully there that'll show up in the list. And there we go. Abyss Pike. Abyss Pike is a card you can banish from your deck, and that'll let, get you from the Prince to the Tess. Let's see if there's any others we know. Ah, Shathana, and our boy Legendary Fisherman. All right, so there you go. There's are some examples of cards you can search for uh, with the Small World, and you can use this website to find what monsters you're gonna search for. So for example, we could search for anything. We don't have to search for Teus. We could try and search for, for example, a, let's try and go from Neptibus to Deep Sea Diva. And I know the card that's the best bridge and it's, it's the Teus, but we could use Abyss Soldier. We could use an Aqua Spirit if we're running Aqua Spirit as our bridge. We could use Barrier Statue of the Torrent. There's gonna be a lot of bridges between these two cards. Uh, Buzzsaw Shark, another great one. Citadel Whale, my boy. Love the Citadel Whale. Usually cards that are very similar, there's a lot of bridges just because, you know, you're kind of, they already have so much in common. It's very easy to get between them. Uh, Fishborg Archer again. Gamesiel. Interesting. You could use him as a bridge. Gen X Undyne. Definitely play that card sometimes. And what else we got? Where's our, where's our Teus? We know Teus is in here. Ice Knight. Another good one. Ice Jades. Interesting, I might even be able to play this in Legendary Fisherman. You always gotta think, what can you play? Lifeless Leaf Fish. Uh, this would probably be a really good card to use in the Fish Explosion deck, actually. Might try that out in another video. Fish Explosion definitely wants the Lifeless Leaf Fish, and being able to search Mega Fortress Whale, not yet released. And there we go, Abyss Teus, Abyss Pike, both cards you can do this bridge with so you could turn your prince into a deep sea diva all right i'll let you guys have fun with this i'll leave the link down in the description and i'll just pan through the deck real quick and i'll see you next time hope you enjoyed the video have a good night